Hey hey, it's David. Today I thought I'd show you my Haworthia collection. It's not a super big collection, but many of them are in flower right now, so I thought it would be a good time to share the plants I have. But before that, I thought we could take a quick look at some of the other plants on the other shelves. Down on this lowest and shadiest shelf, I have mostly cactus that I have started from seed. Most of which were started around 18 months ago, but there are a few older ones as well. Then up here, you can see the Fakaria that I cross-pollinated in an earlier video. I've been waiting for the seed pods to dry up. And this plant back here also has a seed pod. This is a little Lithop that I started from seed. It looks quite small, but it's actually about four years old. I used to have a small group of these, but I had an overheating incident a few years back and lost all of my seedlings except for this one. I'm also noticing that last year's leaves are starting to look a bit wrinkled, so I know to stop watering and to keep this plant in a protected place until next fall. There's quite a bit of variety on the shelf. A few euphorbia agave, and of course cactus. And back here are my prized Lophophora. If you happen to watch my video on cactus splitting, this is the cactus from that video. I'm not noticing much change since then, but we haven't gone through a growing season yet. And now to the stars of today's episode, the Haworthia. I only have 10 or so varieties, including some old-fashioned Haworthiopsis or zebra plants that I have planted in the ground. But most of my Haworthia I keep potted as they are small plants, and it's easier to look at them this way. The Haworthia in the bonsai pot is my oldest Haworthia. I don't have an ID for it, but I believe it to be a Haworthia turgida. If you look at the leaves, they certainly look quite turgid or swollen. On this plant, I counted eight bloom spikes. Eight. You might say this plant is experiencing a super bloom right now, as most of my other Horthias only have one bloom spike. I get the term super bloom from Anna at Cactus Caffeine, who uses it to describe when one of her cacti open a very large number of flowers all at once. This is Horthia emilie. You can see that the flower spikes are just started. I really like the dark color of this one. Next is Haworthia symbiformis bar ramosa. Symbiformis means boat shaped, and you can see this Haworthia has very uniquely shaped leaves. Next is Haworthia venosa bar tessellata, which has been reclassified into Haworthiopsis. I love the mosaic pattern on this one. This one has quite a few offsets, but only a couple flower spikes. In the back are my two Haworthia truncata from Planet Desert. I see a new growth forming on the plant on the right. The next two plants are labeled Haworthia, but they definitely look like Haworthiopsis to me. Haworthia usually have the clear, windowpane-like leaves, while Haworthiopsis have the rigid leaves like these. Plus, these plants, with their white markings on the leaves, make them look generally like the zebra plant, which are Haworthiopsis. This is Haworthia comptoniana, a true Haworthia. I love the thick, flattened leaves on this one. Then the final two plants are both labeled as Gasteria hybrids, but I thought I would include them. Gasteria, Haworthia, and Aloes are all closely related, and many are able to cross with each other. It's these intergeneric crosses that give us countless interesting varieties like these. I would love to add some variegated varieties to my Haworthia collection, but I've yet to come across any. With rarer cultivars, it seems like sometimes you just have to know the right person, which unfortunately I don't. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Horthia variety is, as I love hearing from my viewers. Subscribe if you love cactus and succulents, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!